All right, guys, welcome back to the table. And on the table, you see our first day of holster month of 2019. So those of you who are out there who've never seen these before, what I tend to do at the end of the year is do a holster month, trying to expose everybody to new holsters from different companies, some that you probably know very well, others that you may not have ever heard of. And I'm just trying to do this so that they can get a little bit of exposure. Maybe it's not much, but at least it helps a little bit, especially this time of the year when you guys are out there trying to think about what you should get your loved ones. So the first holster we have for this year's holster month is this one right here. Now, this holster is pretty cool. Um, this one is the shell that it originally came with, and this is from a company called Quick Lock Holsters. And you can see, and we'll do a quick kind of check over in regards to what we think about the moldings. So again, Kydex shell, you can see your single point of retention there. Again, one of the cool features is you have all these little things here, so you can kind of switch that around, but I'll talk about that in a minute. And then what you're noticing here is, again, two pieces of Kydex, and it's very flat because this is not a hip holster. This is not going to go on your your hip area, actually. This is actually going to go on your chest because this is a chest rig, and it's pretty sweet. I believe it's called a Susitna. Again, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully, I am, but I don't even care what it's called. I don't care if it was called poop. This thing is pretty friggin' sweet. So... You know, again, all the lines on the Kydex are nice and polished. Um, they're very smooth. There's no nasty edges to them. Uh, again, the molding, I look at the molding, and the molding is very nice. No issues at all. You can tell that there's no not going to be an issue here in regards to sweat guard. And again, if you do have an optic, uh, I don't know if this would be optic ready. I think it would have to be cut down a little bit more. But I don't even have an optic for a Glock anyway, so what does that matter? Now, this one here, this is, as you can see, from my M&P 2.0 Compact. Uh, again... What it, I, I, the only thing I can say about this is that I had no intentions of ever using a chest rig. You know, I kind of felt that that was somebody who wanted to be Mr. Tactical and, and wanted to go out there and say, hey, look at me. I'm an actual operator who sits on my couch most of the days. However, when I kind of looked at this and I looked at the website, one of the things I, I started to think about was, is this functional for a person like me, a guy who works a job, you know, every single day? spends a lot of time with his family on the weekends and a lot of times we're outside doing some activities or whatever it might be. And then I started to put two and two together. I said, this would be something that absolutely would work for somebody like me and probably for somebody like you guys, if that's your lifestyle. Now, even if it's not your lifestyle, I'm going to tell you, this is an extremely effective method of concealed carry. Again, I did not necessarily believe that until I actually took it out for a test run. Now, I've only had this for about two days and I've only worn it for about a day and a half total. And I'm going to tell you right now that I've worn it to, uh, you know, picking out a Christmas tree. I wore it to the, the mall. Oh my God, what was I doing there in the first place? And I'm going to tell you right now, this is an extremely effective method for concealed carry. And it's an extremely comfortable method for carry overall. Now, in regards to the company, it's owned by two people, a husband and a wife team. Uh, he is a, an Air Force veteran. So that's kind of nice that you're going to, if you decide to buy this, you're going to support a veteran and a small business, which is even better. And more importantly, a family owned and run and operated business, which I truly respect and appreciate that. Now, if you choose to buy this, you're going to realize that once you start putting this on, it was done in a very, very intelligent way. First off, it's a three point harness. So for those of you out there who have any experience carrying anything around your shoulders, your back, whether it's, uh, you know, some form of kit, or if you were a fireman uh, carrying 60 pounds of gear, police officer, you know, whatever it might be, if you're looking for something that kind of distributes, uh, distributes the weight very evenly, the three-point harness to me is one that works effectively because a lot of the weight is dispersed appropriately and evenly, so you're not really feeling that shift on your back. You're not really feeling uh, any of this pressure to kind of hunch your shoulders fold, forward. And really, when you start tightening this down and you start cinching it up on your chest area, what you're going to know is that it's actually pulling your shoulders back a little bit, so it kind of keeps you uh, in check in regards to your posture which for those of you, again, who know about carrying heavy items on your back, posture is a lot uh, of the reason why you begin to feel it, especially when you're carrying it for long periods of time. Now, this is done with two and a half uh, inch military grade nylon. Again, I don't know how long and how well this is going to last. Again, I've only had it for about a day and a half. So the long-term test results, obviously, are going to tell something over time. You have your single point of retention, which I mentioned before, and this is their FDE, which kind of looks pretty cool. We were kind of talking about it, and it was unfortunate because initially when, I, when we set this up, um, he sent me this one, and I haven't gotten the Glock yet. Thanks, Ulster County. So we had to do a quick uh, turnaround in regards to sending me out a 2.0 compact so that I could do this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it out for Black Friday, which kind of sucks. 
You also have the option of buying the uh, magazine caddy, which I have to say this, you know, at first I thought this was going to interfere with my right arm uh, in regards to where it sits. And I'm going to show that to you in a minute, but nonetheless, it is super comfortable and it is completely out of the way. So it doesn't rub up on your armpits, on your arms or anything. It sits right on your body and it's absolutely 100% perfect. In regards to the retention, let me tell you something. This holster is going absolutely nowhere. As a matter of fact, it's extremely tight. Now, I've tried to actually unholster this gun on my table. It's a lot harder than it is when you're wearing it, that's for sure. So, again, pulling it out is a little bit hard. You're going to notice when I show you the next portion of this video that it's actually easier when you're actually carrying the holster and everything cinched down appropriately. Again, gun is checked and cleared before the videos are shot. So first off, when we look at the test, and this is what I do for every holster, one of the things we want to make sure is that there's going to be good enough retention. So the holster begins to push its resistance right about here. Now, you can back this up if you choose to. I actually have loosened up quite a bit. So the holster does fit nice and snug. Again, it's not necessarily a hip holster, so you don't necessarily have to have that super loose retention. And I won't even say super loose, but a little bit looser retention where it's easier to draw from your hip. Because this is attached by a three-point harness, you want to have a little bit more retention. You don't want this thing moving around, especially when it's against your chest. With that being said, one of my favorite sayings is when you start wearing it and you start drawing the holster, you get very used to and acclimated about applying enough pressure to pull the gun out. So just keep that in mind. So here you can see the retention. There's not a lot of movement. So... Once you get it in, I mean, that click is just ridiculous. I mean, I, I have yet to find a holster of anything, but you can see how hard it is to get when you only you have no uh, form of retention or no, no harness attached to you. But what you're going to notice is that once you get it to there and listen to this again, it's absolutely perfect. This thing does not move. It does not wobble. It does absolutely zero. Uh, again, the whole muzzle is covered, which is kind of nice. Um, there's no room for an optic. This is not an optic cut holster. But again, like I said, I don't have an optic, so I don't care. But nonetheless, the coverage of the gun is fantastic. You can see it's just a perfect outline and perfect molding for the shape of the handgun. Again, drawing the gun is a little bit more difficult, so I'm going to put it up against my chest and then draw it that way, which is a heck of a lot easier. But nonetheless, this is pretty solid, man. Uh, this is a great way to start holster month because I've been nothing but impressed with this thing. And yes, it's only been a short while, but again, you're going to have a little bit of space back here because you have that elastic that's actually going to move with you. So you're not going to feel super restricted. The magazine caddies, which are, in my opinion, are probably getting to that industry standard right now where they're a universal caddy and you can just tighten them down or loosen them up with, uh, you know, some form of Allen key or Allen wrench. And again, they fit in perfectly. One is loaded, one is not, and they're going absolutely nowhere. So there's no rattling, there's no movement, there's nothing. It's absolutely perfect. So again, with the three-point harness, it does a lot of good for your back and your shoulders. More importantly, it's going to cinch down that gun, but it's also going to make it extremely easy. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. But uh, it's going to make it extremely easy to be able to carry this gun. And not only that, but in a secure fashion. You know, I think a lot of people don't really think about that when they buy a holster. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who do appendix carries. I am just not cool with appendix carry at this point. I mean, I'm trying it out again because of holster month. But I just haven't really gotten myself to that level of comfort. Again, the draw for your gun, once you get your hand in there, uh, they cut out this area here so that you get that uh, middle finger right there and there's absolutely no rubbing on any of that Kydex. It's a clean, clean purchase on your handgun and it's a nice clean draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show this to you while I'm wearing it. And uh, again, you know how you decide to dress is up to you, but I've worn this with a jacket and just kind of like a, you know, a long sleeve shirt underneath it. I'm actually going to show you a couple of ways to carry with this and actually to see if you think I'm printing too much when carrying this with just a button up shirt over it. Other than that, great stuff here. I honestly think this is such a cool way to start off holster month because of the fact that something completely different for me, completely unique, and hopefully more importantly for you as well. So let's go outside and then we'll come back and we'll finish up the video. All right, guys. So I'm outside. I'm cold. As you can see, it's icing up a little bit already. I'm supposed to get about a foot to a foot and a half of snow. Anyway, I'm wearing the chest rig. As you can see, if I open up my jacket, as a matter of fact, I'm taking my jacket off. You can actually see that there's a little bit of a print. Um, and again, you know, I think that's normal. Uh, it does make the outline of the handgun, so it's really going to depend. I mean, I probably could turn it so that it's, it's leaning more up so that as I come down and grab, I can go up and out. I've chosen to do it a little bit flatter so that as I go in, I can hit the concave of my chest evenly, grab my thumb around the handle of the gun, and pull out uh, evenly. So basically how this works is if you're in a situation, and again, I have it unzippered a little bit, but uh, once I unzipper, you can see the gun right there. 
But if you're ever in a situation where somebody's demanding your wallet, you can basically say, okay, here's my wallet, here's my wallet, there's my wallet. And again, the reholstering process is very easy, it's very simple, the chest rig does not move at all. Um, I find it to be extremely comfortable. I was just outside moving my Christmas tree around and I was able to uh, you know, move, move that tree without any problems. I had to lay on my side to be able to put it up vertically and again, no problems. So in my opinion, the chest rig works very well. Again, if you were to button up your jacket, <coughs> you know, again, you have that extra layer of concealment. You do get a little bit of printing, but probably nothing that's gonna be concerning. I mean, most people are not gonna be looking at your chest wherever you go, and it could be anything. It could be uh, you know, a telephone, it could be anything at this point. So again, you go down with one zipper here. Okay, here's my wallet, let me get my wallet, let me get my wallet from you. Again, depending on how low you go, you wanna kinda of go about there, go in, one easy swoop, come out. Again, reholstering, you wanna make sure you clear that jacket out. You can actually pull the holster a little bit out so that you're clearing your trigger guard and as soon as it locks in place, you're good to go. All right, guys, so we came back inside. The weather was changing for the worse, and honestly, I didn't want to sit out there and freeze. So what you can see right here is the way the chest rig actually fits on your body. Now, you're going to notice the footprint is actually fairly small. This is my hand right here, and I'm able to basically cover it up uh, with just my hand. Now, again, it's going to be dependent upon what you wear. The looser garment... Uh, maybe multiple garments, maybe a, a hoodie and then a jacket over that, or even just a loose-fitting jacket. You're not going to have any problems concealing this. Um, I don't really necessarily believe that people are going to be staring right here and then seeing the shape of that gun. People are mostly oblivious to everything around them, so the likelihood of anybody saying, oh my God, he's got a gun, is, is probably unlikely. But again, you've got to do what you're most comfortable with in the situation that fits for you. Now, the way the strap works, you can see you have two points here um, that wrap around your waist or in your upper diaphragm area. And then, of course, you have your strap that goes across your chest. I feel, and I'll show you in the back, that when I wear this, there's plenty of, plenty of movement. I, I, I don't feel constricted at all. Uh, one of the things, you know, after wearing it, you can always readjust it and tighten it up on the shoulder. Uh, and sometimes you may have to do that, you know, especially I've been drawing a lot with this gun. So I've noticed that it is coming loose a little bit, so I've had to readjust. So that's one thing. But at the same time, just walking around with it, this is not going to loosen up. It's when you actually have to forcefully draw your gun, which brings me up to another point. Some people may say that the retention on this is going to be too much. I disagree with that. I think it's just right. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this is a chest rig. You know, if you have to, if let's say you're walking and you slip and you fall, the last thing you want is this gun flopping out and then going off, even though that's highly unlikely. But you don't want this falling out. Um, that, that would be a big problem. However, the reason why I like it is because as I go to drive the gun out, I can get a full purchase on it. I, what I basically have been doing is taking my thumb and actually literally sliding it across my chest on a nice sturdy grip and then pulling the gun out. Again, reholstering, you don't want to necessarily muzzle yourself, so if you're not comfortable with that, take your gun. You can always pull up on the strap like this so that you're able to take that holster and bring it out. Again, you're going to take it slowly, surely, watch it go in, make sure that trigger guard is covered, and you have no problems. Again, I have no issues carrying this way. This is something I'm actually going to be practicing a little bit more with during the winter because I find it extremely comfortable. I was doing some outdoor activities. I had no issues with this moving around, no issues with the gun falling out, no issues with feeling very safe and secure, and more importantly, comfortable wearing this, because even though this is secure, and it's, it's not super tight, but it is very secure fitting, I'm gonna tell you, as I take a deep breath in, I'm getting a lot of movement, okay? That little uh, elastic part in the back actually does move with you, so it allows you to take that breath if you need to, so that this is not too constricting. Again, a nice solid pull coming out. It's very easy that this gun comes out. There's no issues. Reholstering, you can always drag your holster out a little bit, go in this way, and you're good to go. So again, guys, I'd like to hear what you have to say. You tell me in the comments down below if this is something you'd be willing to do. I personally, I love it. I think it's so cool. And on top of that, I think it's extremely easy to use. Again, practice makes perfect. I've only had it for a day and a half, but I definitely see myself wearing this more often and actually doing those what I said before, a dry draw to make sure that as I'm presenting, it's a very easy present and a very easy reholster. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, we've got some more coming down the pipe. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this holster rig and go and check them out. It is really, really, in my opinion, a good solid way to uh, give business to small businesses and more importantly, have something unique that you can wear that you feel confident with. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And as always, everyone, freedom is never free.